When approving rare disease treatments quickly, it's important to have access to high quality data and evidence. Costello Medical use innovative methods to capture the expert opinion of patients, their families and healthcare professionals, helping to reduce the uncertainty associated with potential treatments. Rare diseases collectively affect millions of people around the world. But because data about them is so scarce, most patients face long and frustrating waits to access life-changing medicines. At Costello Medical, they're providing support to a wide range of stakeholders who could change that. Here, they're using innovation to gather valuable information about rare diseases in a structured way. We find in rare diseases there's a lot of uncertainty um, around long-term outcomes, around how this treatment will affect people that aren't typical of that clinical trial, how it will affect caregivers, how patients will feel about that treatment as compared to something else that might be in development. And so we do a number of other supplementary studies that can bring pieces of the puzzle together, ready to bring that to the table for decision-making purposes. And we do a lot of what's called real-world evidence, capturing um, insights from the community that are most representative of those that will receive the treatment in the real world. Costello Medical asks the experts, the patients themselves, their families and healthcare professionals, their opinion. That information is gathered on the company's Delphi app. The platform then shows where participants are in agreement or where there's a difference of opinion. The beauty of this app is that it allows you to design, run and analyse multi-round surveys in a single platform, making it easier to gather information from patients, their families and healthcare professionals. And it helps you get it both quantitative information but also qualitative information, which can be very, very hard to collect in a robust and systematic way. We developed the app to streamline the process, both for our clients who want to conduct more of these Delphi panels, but also the participants on the other end. Pharmaceutical companies can use methods such as Delphi panels to present supplementary evidence to help determine whether a treatment is likely to be cost effective in the long term. What Costello does is really valuable because it's going to be undertaken in a very structured manner with some formal processes and those are the sorts of things that committees are looking for to be able to say actually this trial or the evidence that was created has been designed in a constructive manner. And what this really means now for patients is that there is an opportunity for those gaps to be bridged and for the committee to be much more confident about those decisions that they're making. And the public who we're responsible to will feel confident that those decisions are being made with the right evidence that's been available to us. Alexa Ursbruch, who works for the pharmaceutical company Roche, is the UK lead for spinal muscular atrophy, a rare neuromuscular condition. She thinks patient voices are vital. In rare diseases, it's absolutely crucial because a lot of people just don't understand the disease. There's often not great ways of measuring the impact of a treatment. So imagine a parent whose child needs less intense care, is more independent, what that could mean to them. They might be less worried or anxious about the future. They might be able to go back to work and so on. Clinical trials do not assess that. They're focusing on efficacy and safety. So we need other ways of assessing this. It really requires this all hands on deck approach of the different stakeholders working together. It became very clear to me that in a developed healthcare system, this is the place where we can make the biggest difference. This is where there are children dying before their fifth birthday. This is where there are families who have no diagnosis and are struggling to navigate the healthcare sector for years. This is where innovative treatments can absolutely revolutionise lives. And I think in rare diseases particularly, we have to think creatively about how to get the best evidence and what we can all do to bring that to the table.